October, fastest and slowest selling cars in the United States of America. Let's start with the slowest selling vehicles. This data is always available back on caredge.com. And dad, for the fastest and slowest selling vehicles, we look at a statistic called market days supply. How many days it would take to sell all available inventory based on the most recent sales rate, which is from the last 45 days. Let's start with number 10, Dad, the 10th slowest selling car in the United States of America right now, the Jaguar XF with a 315 days supply of inventory. There are 701 of these vehicles for sale, yet only 100 have sold in the last 45 days. Whoa. Whoa, come on, they're at the bottom end. They're doing good compared to some of the other brands on here and some of the other vehicles. Um, but you know, then again, it is a Jaguar, so you know, what do you expect? All right, but let's be very clear, a 315 day supply, that's bad. That's really bad. Well, you know, manufacturers like to have a 75 day supply, so that, that gives you some reference point. All right, so then number nine on the list, Dad, yes. we have our first Stellantis product, the Alfa Romeo Giulia. It has a 323 day supply with over a thousand for sale nationwide, but 147 that have sold in the last 45 days. Then you have another Stellantis product, the Dodge Hornet, which is frequently on this wrist list, excuse me, with a 327 day supply. And it actually has the most available inventory on the slowest selling cars list. Over 12,700 of them for sale in the United States right now, yet only 1,700 have sold in the last 45 days. That's bad. But that is such an improvement over where it had been. I mean, it is it is a staggering, staggering increase in sales compared to what it had been. I mean, it still sucks, <laughs> but it doesn't suck quite as bad as it did. The Dodge Hornet has not sold well for a variety of reasons, one of the main ones being the price point and what you get. Uh, go on the Car Edge car search, click around, you'll see what we mean. And dealers are starting to discount them so much, like 20, 30% off of MSRP because yes. they're really not selling. Then we have data at number seven, another Stellantis product, the Jeep Grand Wagoneer L. This is your multi, not multi, excuse me, this is your $100,000 plus dollar SUV that you never asked for from Jeep, 336 day supply. And then a car you know and love, you used to run a mini dealership, a mini hardtop four door has a 337 day supply right now. What's going on at mini, man? My guess would be that that would be the new 2025 redesigned mini four-door hardtop, and um, uh, the outside might look good. The inside is, well, questionable at best. All right, now we get to the top five. There is a brand here. Do best to keep looking over there. Wow. <laughs> now that we're into the top five here, where there's a brand that is breaking in in a bad way, Dad, and that would be BMW. They own 80% of the top five spots in terms of slowest selling cars in the United States right now. This could be due to some model year turnover and also price point, I think, plays a big role. Number five slowest selling car in the United States right now, the BMW 5 Series, a 387 day supply. Then the 7 Series with a 517 day supply. Again, this could be due to some of the model year turnover, so a lot of new 2025 making it to dealer lots, but they're not selling that quickly, which also could be because there's more discounts on the 2024s. Yeah. So this should, again, this is something we'll watch for over yes. the next couple of months. Like does BMW, their flagship five and seven series come out of the slowest selling cars? But right now in this moment, there's an oversupply of 2025, five series and seven series. Yes. And, and you know, the five series is one of the, one of their bread and butter vehicles along with the three series. So you know, that one's a little scary. Now, the 7 Series, why they thought they needed to have 2,800 of them in the United States is beyond me, but... Then Pops Stellantis had to get in the top three, the Fiat 500e, one of our few electric vehicles on this list, although there's an EV at number two at the slowest selling uh, cars in the United States right now. Fiat has over a 500 day supply of the 500e. Then the BMW X M, Dad, this is a performance electric SUV at a hundred and fifty plus thousand dollar price point that has a 544 days supply. Um, which will probably just go up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who's spending that much money on that? Uh, well, the same people that might look at the electric G wagon, um, <laughs> but but still, I mean, I I don't know that there's anybody out there saying I need an electric 
I don't know. For big ass SUV. For performance big ass SUV. For 150 uh, grand. Well, and I, I've seen them as high as $189,000. Just, just seems a tad ludicrous to me. Yeah, it really does. All right, then, Pops, the number one slowest selling car in the United States right now is an electric vehicle. So our top three are EVs, the BMW i7. 1,605 of these for sale nationwide right now. Yet in the past 45 days, dealers have only been able to sell 125. That's a 578 days supply of a very expensive BMW electric vehicle. So if they didn't bring another one into the country, it would only take them 578 days to sell the 1,600 that are already here. That, and, and, and you know, at these price points, I mean, that's costly to have one of those vehicles sitting around for a year and a half. Um, uh, that doesn't bode well for the i7. If you're trying to get a good deal on an i7, I there bet you, you can get one. Yeah, dealers yeah. are probably dying to get rid yes. of them. Dad, the top 10 fastest selling cars in the United States, we're just going to cut right to the chase. 90% of them are either Toyotas or Lexuses. Le Lexi. Lexi. The number 10 fastest selling vehicle in the United States is the one exception to that rule. The Kia Forte has a 32 day supply. And listen to these numbers here, because they are so drastically different from what we just went through yes. on the worst or slowest selling vehicles. 10,189 in inventory right now at dealer's lots, on dealer lots. 14,111 have sold in the last 45 days. You want that, you being the manufacturer and the dealer, you want those types of numbers. More yes. being sold than you have in inventory. Oh, absolutely. And that's what you're going to find across the board in the fastest selling vehicles. Um, and I, I am impressed. Kia is selling as many Fortes as they are. And my suspicion is, is because it's such a relatively inexpensive entry-level vehicle. I'm gonna run you through the top nine uh, fastest selling vehicles real quick here, Dad. And then our commentary, I think I already know it, is going to be fastest selling cars, more affordable, more reliable. Look up uh, how much it costs to own a Toyota vehicle on caredge.com. Cost of ownership is gonna be lower than the vehicles that we said were the uh, slowest selling. Like, yes. there's a pretty obvious reason why this is happening. But you have at number nine, the Toyota Corolla Cross. At number eight, the Toyota Sequoia. At number seven, the Lexus NX Hybrid. At number six, the Toyota Corolla Hatchback. At number five, the Lexus GX. At number four, the Toyota Corolla. At number three, the Toyota Highlander. At number two, the Toyota Sienna. And at number one, the Toyota 4Runner with a, like, an astounding 18 days supply. 3,616 on dealer lots right now, yet 9,158 have sold in the last 45 days. That means just about every one of them that's coming in is pre-sold. Pre-sold, 100%. Pre -sold. You are not gonna be able to negotiate a ton of money off any of these vehicles. No, and, and you know, why would a dealership negotiate with you on something that they can literally say, you don't want it, the person behind you does, yes or no. Again, Toyota, Lexus crushing it, those other brands that we listed before, especially BMW with yes. those EVs, not doing so hot. And, and just pressure test, test me here, are any of the fastest selling cars in the United States electric vehicles? Uh, it doesn't appear as if. No. <laughs> we have all this data back on caredge.com. And like I said, that cost of ownership information as well for each of these makes and models. 100% for free. Check it out. Dad, thank you as always. My pleasure.